Flu season is in full bloom now, so you should count yourself lucky if you are not among the millions of Americans who have already come down with the flu. According to the Centers for Disease Control, flu was widespread in Virginia in mid-January. Hey, that's right now. Holly Morris joins us from the newsroom as she talked with a flu specialist from Virginia Hospital Center who says we've got a long way to go before flu season is over. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I kind of feel like flu has flown under the radar this year. I mean, you know, it was in the news every day last year. And of course, last year it was the worst flu season in 40 years. But that doesn't mean, like you said, that people aren't getting it. And now we are in the height of flu season. In fact, you referenced that Centers for Disease Control map. We have it up right over here. And you can see, yeah, in the middle of January, which is right now in Virginia, flu was widespread. In Maryland, they had some regional activity in the high spot, or the highlight, I guess we should say, is that in D.C., they actually have only seen sporadic cases. But nonetheless, we still have a ways to go in terms of flu season. It's packing a wallop across the country and right here in the DMV. An infection prevention specialist told me that we could still see flu here for the next four to five months. But the good news is, she said it's still not too late to get a shot. The whole thing about the flu vaccine is not only does it prevent certain strains of the flu, but it helps decrease your risk of hospitalization and severe complications if you do happen to get infected with a different strain of flu. There are other simple things like hand washing that you can do to reduce risk. But even if you think you're washing hands and blowing noses correctly, you probably aren't. At least 15 seconds and make sure you cover every surface of your hand, top, bottom, and really in those fingernail beds. That's where a lot of viruses and bacteria live. I see you have hand sanitizers there. Do they really work? They do. So there's a lot of different brands out there, but you know, if you take a look at most of them, mm -hmm. they have at least 60% alcohol. It'll take care of most viruses, most bacteria, and just a little squirt, and it's just like washing your hands. 15 okay. seconds, all surfaces, totally dry. If you don't manage to stave off sickness, you may be able to manage your misery on the couch but not always. At what point do you need to make sure you take yourself to the emergency room? Yeah, that's, it's a hard question. Not everyone has the same severity when they do get the flu, but if you have a severe fever, if you feel extremely fatigued, if you have nausea, vomiting, other signs and symptoms, and it's not resolving, definitely go to the doctor. It doesn't necessarily have to be the emergency room, but you can always call in and your doctor will advise you the best place to go. And the other thing about washing your hands, you really can't do it too much. So as I say that, I'm going to come right over here. It's like what have it. We have these in and around the newsroom. Uh, but listen, this is something not to be taken lightly. And just when I thought that flu was under the radar, I'm not making this up. This morning, I got an email from my son's school that says a case of the flu has been diagnosed in his classroom. So stay healthy, everybody. Steve and Allison.